So, full time, West Ham 1, Arsenal 2. I'm going to give you a match reaction as we always do. And once again, it's another three points for Arsenal, three wins in a row. Arsenal back into fourth as well. And uh, yeah, we've got four games remaining of the season. And yeah, it's getting closer and closer where Arsenal could be getting Champions League football next season. But anyway, yeah, playing West Ham today, um, not the easiest games, but we did get the three points thanks to goals from Rob Holding. Actually, our two centre backs, funny enough, Rob Holding and Gabriel, both scoring headers. And uh, Bowen did score one, uh, Nicolas for them as well, but it wasn't enough. And yeah, as I said, guys, good performance. It's a very, very it's, it's a massive win for us because obviously Spurs won today against Leicester, and they went above us before this game, so added on a lot more pressure going into this game again. And uh, we dealt with it, and we got ourselves back into that uh, fourth position, going into his last few, uh, few games um, of the season. And um, <clears throat> I think another advantage for us was that West Ham played in Europa League and all that stuff. And I'll be honest with you guys, for the first half an hour, it looked like we were the team that went into Europa League on Thursday night because we looked just dejected. West Ham wanted it more than us in that, in that first half an hour, but we got the goal, uh, holding with the head off in the corner and then can't keep the lead because we're defensively shocking that it's now 10 goals conceded in the past six games, which is not looking good. Having said that, our two centre-backs did score today, so yeah. It's fine that they scored and all that, but the defensively, especially, you know, I'm going to get on to Tavares in a minute. He was absolutely shocking. Um, but no, um, yeah, as I said, guys, we, we five minutes later, they get the equaliser. Our defensive really poor. Bone puts away a nice finish and 1 1 going into half time. And then Martinelli with a fantastic cross. Gabriel with the bullet header. And we see out the three points and get the 2 1 win. And um, yeah, obviously, as I said, let's talk about the defence then. Um, I thought some good news that Tommy Ashley was back in the squad and I thought he was superb. I thought he was one of our best players in my opinion. You know, um, he was up against a good player in Ben Rama and I thought he absolutely pocketed it. That, that sounds so posh then. I thought <laughs> um, I thought um, he got pocketed. You know, I think Tommy Ashley, Ben Rama, he had about, what, that was the only one time I saw that game where he got past him. The, the other time, Tommy Ashley was just too strong for him. You know? So, yeah, simple as that, guys. Tommy Ashley, I thought, was superb. Um, did it come off? I think he had a bit of cramp or whatever. Um, and then obviously on the other side though, Nunes Tavares, Tavares, absolutely shocking. As I said, the guy's a literally Olympic sprint. That's all he's got. He's got zero technical ability whatsoever, and he's defensively shit. He's so so. He, he's literally a B tech Klasnac who can actually run. Literally, I would generally rather prefer Klasnac over this guy, you know, because oh, but he saw that it's Man United. Yeah, well done, mate. It's a tapping. Yeah, what you've done, what do you do in defence, mate? Listen, I think he's not, he's, yeah, right, maybe he's not going to defend him, maybe he's a, he's, a, he's like a left winner or something, but I don't even know. But no, as I said, I thought Tavares was absolutely shocking, and um, yeah, moving on to midfield, Granit Xhaka as well. There's times where he couldn't play a five-yard pass, he kept going away at the ball. Um, he's been really good the past few weeks, but today I thought he, he wasn't great. El Nenny just kept things going and uh, made a very, very good pass with Eddie Nketiah actually, which he should have gotten Eddie he should have scored. And this is a, the next thing I'm going to move on. Eddie Nketiah, how many chances does this guy have? And he's, if, if he would have took the chance, we would have won about 4-3-1. Four, about four, because at the end of the day, right, he had some good chances when it was just him at, up against Zuma. Skip past Zuma and then just hits, hits the same side the whole time. Family Askey did make a few good saves, to be fair to him. But Eddie Nketiah has got to take them chances. If that was someone like... If we had a like nipple striker like you know not uh, Nunes, you know um, Jonathan David, they would have buried that chance. Let's be real. So this is why I think obviously we need a new striker. But um, negatives aside, look at the positives. If three points, we beat West Ham. Oh, we're massive. Yes, the Irons are massive. Um, well, they're actually seventh now. So if they don't win the Europa League, they're gonna go Conference League. So I don't, I don't think they want that to win this. I think they want Europa League. So yeah, um, as I said, guys. West Ham are not massive. They've never been massive. They're, they've just they've sort of gotten a little bit better than they have in the past few years. But they've still won absolutely dog shit. So at the end of the day, they they've got no relevance to being massive at all, do they? Because what they actually won that's irrelevant to the English football league. You tell me, guys. I, I know what we've won. We won 13 league titles. What West Ham won? I think even Tottenham won one of them. So. Yeah, um, West Ham are not massive. Good, good luck in Europa League, guys. I mean, yeah, if you get Champions League, then fair play. But I don't think you will. I think Frankfurt will beat you, if I'm being honest. But <laughs> anyway, guys. Um, yeah, it's looking good in top four now. We're obviously two points above Spurs. 
they've got to play Liverpool next. We've got Leeds. We'll show you guys the game, as I said, guys. Um, yeah, I'm going to do a match day vlog and all that stuff. So stay tuned for that. Um, and yeah, I'm very happy with the performance. And obviously, yeah, we'll big up to Arteta. Here we go. I'll give the guy praise because he's got it right three games in a row. But let's get top four now. Because no point winning these pointless three games and then going bottling in top four is there, mate. So at the end of the day, get us top four. I'm still, I'll, I'll still be Arteta out because I'm, that's what I'm sticking with. You know, I, I'm, I don't, I don't flip flop after one, after, after three good games, after three bad games, don't go on to her out, and after three good games, don't go back to on to room because in the end of the day, I've stuck to my decision for the past two years that the guy's simply not good enough. And yeah, if he gets to top four, then big up to him. You know, yeah, he's probably overachieved and all that stuff. But I'm still, still going to be the, my on to her out until I actually see us progressing. And yeah, people call it progressing, thinking about getting top four from eighth. But at the end of the day, mate. You should have got us top four last season, let's be real. Why didn't you? you finish us eighth, yeah? You, you ain't got a chance to get us to the Champions League. You've got not so like Una Emery, mate. Alright, so I'm not, I'm not listening to none of these excuses as a manager anymore. If he gets to top four, right, then yeah, he's obviously going to keep his job. And does he deserve to keep his job? Probably, if he gets to get us top four. But do I, does that change my opinion? No, it doesn't. I'm sorry, guys, it doesn't. Until I see us actually challenging for shit, right, and actually winning trophies. Consistently, I see a consistent run of form from these players, right? And these consistent games in the manager, and then maybe, you know, then maybe who knows what will happen. But for me, I'm so on to around the guys out of his depth. So, thank you guys for watching. Merch is dropping, guys. There's gonna be a merch announcement after this. Um, just need to do the final, the the little DLs going in, and it'll be released very, very soon. Thank you guys for watching. Smash that button. Come, you guys, a good performance.